we are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You recommended that Pistro in Hank. We are here. Let's go. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. So cold. I don't know what to say. I mean, complete standard kebab. This bread was not freshly baked at all. It has no taste. It's just the shell around the kebab. So what do we say about this kebab? Everybody who says this is the best kebab in Switzerland is lying. I mean, come on, what's special about this? You get that at 90% of all Swiss kebabs. We have standard factory meat from any big factory like Royal Döner, FS or however they're called. The sauces have a lot of sugar. Yes, it's homemade, but no big differentiation. And the bread, yes, it might be homemade bread. Not entirely sure, but it's not freshly baked. It's cold and just nothing special in the kebab. When you taste this meat, this kind of meat, this is minced meat and it's so much different than sliced meat. You don't taste any meat flavor. You only have the spices which you taste. They have no flavor at all, this meat. Look, but it has no flavor, no bite. It's just a big blob of kind of meat. It's stretched with flavor enhancer and you cannot tell which animal it is. And because of that factory meat, it's not juicy at all. You need a lot of sauce to compensate. And at the end, it's just everything is dry. The good thing about this kebab is they put sauce first on the bread because else it would be uneatable at the end. If you think this is a good kebab, please try one with at least homemade bread, freshly baked or with sliced meat. The sliced meat can be from the factory, it doesn't matter. It's just so much better than this. It has a bite, it has juice, but this, mm -mm, this is not it. Now comes the vegetables. Yes, they are fresh. Yes, they are crunchy, but they are just at the end and don't bring a lot to the kebab, to be honest. I rather have no vegetables. The most positive thing about this kebab is definitely the price. I think this is one of the cheapest kebab I've ever had. 10 francs, which is a really good value. And I don't know if it was, was a mistake, but they gifted me a free drink to it. So 10 francs for this whole menu is a really good value. Props to that, but I rather pay a little bit more but have some quality ingredients in the kebab. But I guess kebab houses like this need to exist as well for people who cannot afford a good kebab every day, kids, students, so they can go there and get a good value meal. That's really good and I give them props for that. However, I cannot rate the price. I only rate the taste. Yeah, there's nothing more to say about this kebab. This is a five out of 10. This is my top 10 ranking list. Check out all these videos. I tried over 100 kebabs so far. A complete list of it is in the link in the bio. There is the rating table. Let me know in the comments which one I should try next. We love food yummy.